Na watu wangu ningetaka kuomba nyinyi kwa heshima tukue wavumilivu. Hii shida ya mafuta sio shida ya Kenya, sio shida ya Rais William Ruto, ni shida ya dunia nzima. Hawa Waarabu ndio wameongeza bei ya mafuta katika dunia nzima. Kwa hivyo mimi naomba tukiwa na shida ya dunia nzima tusiwekee lawama rais wetu na serikali. Haya sasa ndio maajabu. Imagine wa Kenya wanaambiwa kwamba kwa mambo ya mafuta wasimuulize William Ruto. Hiyo sio shida yake. Ile swali mimi nataka kuuliza. Rais wa Kenya ni nani? Ni nani anasimamia serikali ya Kenya? Hiyo ndio jibu nataka nichibie. Mafuta haikiongezi pay. Wakati mafuta inaongezwa pay, William Ruto ama anasimamia serikali. Ndiye anaita watu wa Ministry of Energy. Watu wa energy sector wanakache. Wanasema sasa wacha tuongeze bei ya mafuta mpaka hapa. Sasa hapa ndio mnatuambia kwamba tusiulize William Ruto vile amefanya mambo ya mafuta. Definitely tunalaumu William Samoi Ruto kwa kuongeza bei ya mafuta. It's not a global issue. Ni shida ya Kenya. Katels sasa katika serikali ya Ruto wameingilia mambo ya mafuta, wameingilia energy sector. At global issue. At tusiulize William Ruto mambo ya mafuta. Mnataka tuulize nani? Nataka tuulize nani? What the fuck? Mnataka tuulize nani? Wakati maisha imekuwa magumu. Wakati mnaongeza ushuru. Mnaongeza bei ya mafuta. Mnataka tuulize nani? Who is responsible for this government if it's not William Ruto? Mnataka tulaumu nani? Nyinyi mlikuwa mnalaumu uhuru Kenyatta, wewe ndio umeongeza bei ya mafuta, wewe ndio umefanya hivi. Saa hii unatuambia eh hey, bei ya mafuta sio sisi, it is a global issue. Tusi wewe nyinyi. Nyinyi. Nyinyi ndio umemealipa uchumi wa Kenya. In one year umekoroga ike, umeifanya, yani umeikoroga. Sasa Kenya hii hatuelewi wananchi hawaelewi nchi inaelekea wapi kwa uongo nyinyi ni uongo hapi sasa uongo hakuna kitu mnafanya sasa mnataka mnataka wa Kenya waulize nani wakati mambo inaharibika hivi unataka tumlaumu nani kama sio serikali nyinyi mlilaumu serikali ya uhuru kwa mambo ya mafuta mkasema uhuru ndio anaongeza bei ya mafuta na sisi tunasema ni nyinyi mnaongeza bei ya mafuta nyinyi ndio mmekuwa makatels wenyewe sasa original sugu kwa mambo ya mafuta nyinyi msipokaa chini mufikirie msipokaa chini mufikirie he you will see sichi mko na mpango gani unajua mimi nawaangalia You know, yani, yani. <laughs> Lakini wa Kenya. Kenya is going to be a difficult country. Mbele hawa watu wanasuru. Within a short time, saa hii mafuta ni 211 Kenya shillings per liter. By the end of this year, mafuta itafika 300. Wait and see. Dola ndiyo inapanda kila siku by the end of this year. Uta, utakuwa na change dola utakuwa na change dola na miambili wait and see you will see because these people they don't know what to do they are very confused they are running government like someone who is running a cattle dip they don't have an idea i don't know whether this government has economic advisors ali ngumu katika taifa letu la Kenya. Bei ya mafuta ndio hiyo imefika 135. Mimi nataka niwaulize wale walipatiwa majukumu na rais. Sub committee ya cabinet ya ya serikali yetu waketi chini kwa njia ya dharura watoe advice ndio tujue tunaenda vipi.
ndio tupunguze haya mambo ambayo yanazidi kuwagandamiza wa Kenya. Kamati pia ya bunge ya mambo ya energy waketi chini pamoja na waziri watueleze na waeleze Kenya na watoe advice kwa serikali ili tuchukue hatua ambazo itasaidia wa Kenya kupunguza hali hii ya kuongezeka kwa mafuta ya petroli ambayo itaongeza yale mambo mengine mengi na kuleta hali ya maisha kupanda gharama katika taifa letu la Kenya and everybody you know there are people who have been assigned responsibilities by the president it is time for them now to assume those responsibilities provide advice to government so that the right decisions can be made to manage the current situation where the prices of fuel are going up and the